Well, because of this evil wizard using this, we get this. Thanks a lot, evil wizard. Well, here I have a little baler, demon, devil, whatever they are, and I had some uh, gargoyles from another game that broke the bases off and used them for top of the, some of the posts there. So I had a bunch of scrap. I always keep scrap, which is good because I always seem to use it for something else. And I had a basic idea that I wanted. Got everything in, in, uh, in order, and then I used... Uh, a cap to get the circle, started cutting everything. The circle platform, I did kind of a two-level two, two level system. Then everything gets uh, sanded and roughed up. Then I did a rough placement, make sure everything was good. Outlined where the base would be. Started cutting that all up. Roughed that up so it looked like rock. Then cut out the stairs. Rough everything up, of course. Sand, sand, sand. Get those nice rounded corners for the pillars. Then I did a pencil relief for my patterns. Everything gets painted black Mod Podge, of course. Then a dry brush of a deep gray and a red and an orange to give it like a lava effect. Then I used uh, some steel and clay to make the devil horns. Painted my uh, platform there and then made some little clay black soles to be impaled and of course painted that all black Mod Podge did highlighting and glued everything into place phew and more glue so the piece is done it's a nice hellscape for Baylor the demon of war I guess you could say I think it came out pretty good uh, I particularly like the little black soles that I did in the back. The black soles. So it's a nice perch for Balor to look over the war that's going down on his plane of hell. Everlasting war. So it came out pretty good. And again, this is just a piece for a game. It has nothing to do with beliefs or anything. So, it's just another fun project that's going to lead up to a bigger project to tell a bigger story. So, hope you enjoyed. Take care.